Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. This is, of course, DatingAdviceGuru.com, that video podcast you know and love. Today, we're talking about five, five breakup exercises to get you over your ex. All right, so you dumped him or he dumped you. It happens in life sometimes. And if there's anything we learn in this land of serial monogamy is that there's always a newer, shinier model right around the corner. We change our TV shows, our clothes, everything as fast as, well, swiping from left to right. So instead of crying and lamenting over this guy you lost, I'm gonna give you some tips that you can use. But first, I wanna give you some get over him girl wisdom. Get over him girl, remember, you thought the same thing about the last one. You might not remember this, but the last relationship you had that ended this way probably felt very similar, shockingly similar. Same tears, same wondering if you should text him at three in the morning, same driving by his house to see if she's over there. Look, the funny thing is that every breakup feels unique only because how fresh it feels to you. But it's really the same, same thing, different guy. Get over him, girl. Remember, you're not going to be alone forever. Yeah, there's also this irrational voice that is quiet the whole time you're in the relationship, but the second you break up, it starts screaming, you're gonna be alone forever. That voice is the voice of insecurity and the fear of loss. It's your mental drug fix, all those hormones that were raging through your mind that are now cut off and making you feel that way. All right, so let's get to the exercises. Get over your breakup. Exercise number one is the long walk of love. Look, we all know walking is really great exercise. Sorry, runners, you're just killing your knees. Why not? take some time to walk off some of the pain and well walk away from him one of the best exercises is simply to walk just as you walk mentally review that list of stuff that you didn't like about him that whole big steaming pile of it and then imagine yourself walking away from all of it it's gonna feel good put as much distance as you possibly can between you and that get over your ex exercise number two the juke of love you ever watch football? There's this move they do that's called the juke where they turn around really quickly and avoid some guy tackling them. Well, there's a great physical exercise and you can do the same thing just by practicing your sidestepping, going from side to side to side, pivot on one foot, turn around. All that is a great exercise in agility. Now in your dating life, you're gonna need to mentally juke whenever your ex shows up in your life. You gotta be able to turn and evade and whenever he shows up, whether it's in reality, you see him on the street or in your brain, you gotta be able to evade those thoughts that are gonna come at you. Just sidestep the habit of wanting to remember only the good things about that relationship. Be realistic, it's gonna help you heal and keep you real. Get over an ex-boyfriend. Exercise number three is the love dash. Okay, I know I just teased runners for abusing their knees, but every so often a good run is great to clear out the cobwebs. With the right shoes and the right support, a good run is great to bring your heart rate up. It raises your resting heart rate and gets your breathing going. It's really good exercise, I hate to admit it. So start out with a brisk walk, break into a faster walk, and pretty soon you'll be moving pretty quick. But let's flip this around in the psychological world of your heart and getting over this guy. You got to do the love dash, which is to say you need to keep your distance from him as best you can. You want to keep your distance from thoughts of him, just like the juke. Only when you keep your distance from things that trigger those memories, you're going to feel a lot more safe and sound and you won't be caught off guard. How to get over your ex? Exercise number four, the toss out. If you've ever been to a gym, you've probably seen people do this exercise where they pull the cable down from one side to the ground and the other side down and they do it from the bottom up. It's called the wood chop. It's a fantastic exercise for the core and it really works your stability. You can also do the exercise with a medicine ball or a hand weight. Now, this exercise also happens to be a great way to Pull his stuff off your shelves and throw it in the garbage, which is what I want you to consider doing with all the stuff he gave you. Yeah, I get it. Gifts are nice and all, and you might not want to throw out all the nice stuff he got you, but it is a good idea if you would take that stuff off the shelves, put them in a box, tape up that box, and put it away for a while. You don't need the reminders. Just tape it up, store it for a few months until the heavy emotions are gone. And finally, how to get over your breakup, exercise number five, the get moving. Some people call these mountain climbers. They're where you get down very low on the ground, kind of like a runner getting ready for the starting gun. And you keep your hands in place and you just jump and switch your feet back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's a great agility exercise and it also gets your abs worked. And when it comes to your attitude and happiness, you gotta get moving there too, because the reality is, well, eventually it settles in after a few weeks without your ex, 
The reality is you're ready to move on. You want love in your life and dwelling on your ex isn't going to get you the partner you want. You probably already know this by now, but to get moving in your heart, you gotta have a plan. The plan you use to get where you wanna go is called a roadmap and you need it. It's the most important element to have to find your way to the places where you wanna go in life. Well, I've got a roadmap for you and it's called Carlos's YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the link you see below this video. Watch some more of my recommended videos. And of course, do the big three. Number one, like this video. Number two, subscribe so you get them every week. And of course, number three, leave me your comments and polite questions below. And this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. Watch out this week too. I'll be starting out my new segment on talking trash about love. Come into this YouTube channel. I'll be talking again soon. As always, live and love with passion.